Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV. Today we are doing something new and exciting. This is where we are showing movie clips that we have picked out individually and we are talking about them, giving you context, showing them to you and showing them to each other. Yeah. Yeah, I picked out a few game clips as well. I hope that's okay. Oh, movie but and yeah. game. Sorry, I didn't <laughs> include it. <laughs> yeah, our intention is to like, hey, uh, this is something that I fall on, fell in love with. I want to show you. I want to tell you why I fell in love with it, what it meant to me. Mm -hmm. And I want to get your reaction to it. Yeah. So, this is The Notebook. I've never seen this movie. Jess, I, can't. I know that she loves the movie. I love this movie so the much. The last movie that I tried to give a chance was uh, P.S. I Love You. And that movie, I was like, this is too sad, dude. I can't Such watch your movies. Movie. So They're so good. freaking sad. So I'm going to get okay. him to watch this, and this is going to take it. This is going to take him over the edge and make him want to watch this because, yeah. yeah, this is one of my favorite scenes. Okay. I mean, there's a lot of good scenes in this movie. I probably could have picked a better one, too because there's a lot of them, but this is the one I picked because yeah. it's got the most emotion, I feel like. Yeah, Ryan Gosling, he's okay. Okay, <gasps> Rachel McAdams, though. I'm a big fan of hers. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> Let me just talk about Mr. Ryan. I'm just kidding. Yeah. But they're Better amazing actors. They have amazing chemistry in this movie, and it's so beautiful. At this point in the movie, without spoiling anything, um, Rachel McAdams' character. You can, I think you might have to spoil some stuff, though. I don't want to spoil it's anything. Been out. It's just okay, a listen. Spoiler alert. The Titanic sunk, y'all. <laughs> okay, these movies have been out for it. This is 2004. Are you you're kidding You're right. Me? You're right. You're right. It's been out for a while. Well, at this point. This is before we met. Yeah. What? 2004? No That's way. That's what it says. There's no way. I thought this movie came out after that. Anyways. My mind is blown right now. <laughs> yeah. What? We're so old. Uh, yeah. What the crap? Okay, before I start crying about how old we are, I, let's get into <laughs> this. Well, this is from the movie The Notebook, obviously. Um, in it, she they fall in love when they're super young. She ends up moving away with her family. It's like a summer love kind of thing. She ends up growing up. She gets a job. She's a nurse, and she meets a soldier and falls in love with him. They start falling in love or whatever, and then all of a sudden, she sees in a newspaper clipping his face, and it brings back all the memories all the stuff so then she has to go back because she's curious and she has to go see him and see how he's doing there's a lot more stuff in here that's why i want you to watch the movie so i'm keeping Cheating it out on, on purpose freaking, is she married right now listen is she okay, married right now she's engaged okay but listen judgy i do not approve this is a love story <laughs> remember that okay Ju johnny and june carter cash she was married when they got together and that's a love approve. story for the ages <laughs> fight me on it but anyway how dare you johnny <laughs> Freaking home record. It's a love story, okay? There better not be no Ryan Gosling or Johnny Ca Johnny Cash out there for you, okay? No. I'm the only freaking You're one. You're my Johnny Cash. We will shut this down right now. I just right met now. you before. Okay, I made the good. mistake of marrying I'm glad someone to hear else. That. There's no Rachel McAdams <laughs> anyway, for me either. So she goes back. Okay, and they end up getting back together. And this is the after aftermath when she realizes what she has done and that she has another person on the line and she's still here in the situation. She's Good, she should to... feel bad. Okay, so let's just play it. Go. <laughs> it's about security. What is that supposed to mean? Money! What are you talking? He's got a lot of money. Now I hate you, you well, slut bastard. You. If you leave here, I hate you. you what if, I you haven't if you paid any here. attention to anything that's been happening I guess not. I think I must have misread all of those signals. Yeah, I guess you did. Oh, dang. You're bored. You're bored and you know it. You wouldn't be here if there wasn't something missing. You arrogant son of a bitch. <laughs> Would you just stay with me? Stay with you? What for? Look at us. We're already fighting. Well, that's what we do. We fight. You tell me when I'm being an arrogant son of a bitch, and I tell you when you're being a pain in the ass, which you are 99% of the time. <laughs> I'm not afraid to hurt your feelings. They have like a two-second rebound rate, and you're back doing the next pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> so what? So it's not going to be easy. It's going to be really hard. And we're going to have to work at this every day, but I want to do that because I want you. I want all of you. <laughs> Dude, I okay, I see. You got me uh, tearing up a little bit over here. Gosh dang it! We're gonna have to work at this every day, but I want to do that because I want you. I want all of you, forever. You and me, every day. <laughs> Will you do something for me, please? You just picture your life for me. Thirty years from now, forty years from now, what's it look like? If it's with that guy, go. Go! I lost you once. I think I could do it again. 
If I thought it's what you really wanted. But don't you take the easy way out. What easy way? There is no easy way. No matter what I do, somebody gets hurt. Would you stop thinking about what everyone wants? Stop thinking about what I want, what he wants, what your parents want. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? I've seen this moment in a meme before. Yeah. Of like when you ask your wife what she wants what she for wants dinner. To eat. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this is a this is a good scene, man. What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? What do you want? <laughs> I have to go. Dude. Oh, that was beautiful. That was great. They actually do have great chemistry right there. What the heck? Now, the question that we've all been waiting for. Are you going to watch the movie with me? I watched the movie. Yes. You spoiled it for me, though. No, it didn't. <laughs> it didn't get spoiled. It's just it gets better and better. I just feel oh, like man. I see a lot of his personality from this movie in you and the way that you're real because you're 100% real with me. And you tell tell me like it is, and you tell me 100% how it is. I'm not scared to hurt your feelings no, if I know not. that it's going to lead to something good. Mm -hmm. I don't ever go set out to hurt your feelings. No, you don't. You know that. Mm -hmm. But yeah, sometimes you have to say the truth, and the truth hurts. Mm -hmm. And I'm not scared to be honest with you. And you deal with me when I'm a pain in the bleep. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Dude, just... To bring you guys back to our dating life early on when we were just young 18 year olds, we're 35 now, been mm -hmm. married for 16 years if you're new here to the channel. Um, she was just telling me everything she wanted out of her life at one point and I just, I just felt like I couldn't give her that and I just, I hung up, I hung up because I wanted her to have that. I was like, I, I don't care if you end up with someone else. I just want you to be happy and I want you to have all the things that you want in life and these things that you're laying out right here. I don't feel like I can supply them. And I hung up and a full month went by and I was just so heartbroken. And I guess you tell your side of it. Like, <laughs> how did you all of a sudden my phone rings? A month later, yeah. and something. It might have been even close to two months, but we were randomly at the yeah. We were randomly at this pool hall that we went to all the time when me and you were dating. And then I found some of your friends, and I have been thinking about you ever since. And I was like, "Hey, you got his number?" Like I didn't want to let the moment go by, so I got your number from her, and it was a different phone number. So I'm glad I didn't let the moment go by. And then I called you, and I was just like, "Hello." She's like, "Hey," <laughs> and I was like, "Wait." what like <laughs> you actually found my new number and like reached out and called me like that's when i knew the fact that we met the way we did and then the fact that we we went apart from each other and then we came back together like that i was like okay i'm never letting you go again no, i'll no. never let you go again i know that this is meant to be there's too many things there's too many freaking signs man. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, that was a great scene. They actually do. I've only seen Ryan Gosling in a handful of movies. He seems very like same-ish from role to role. That's the most emotion I've seen from him. And it's so good. So good. <laughs> so I'm gonna have good. to watch that. I will definitely have to watch that with <laughs> Yay! you. Yay! Oh, that was beautiful. Wow. <laughs> so I can make you cry wow, wow, more. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Wow, wow. <laughs> All right, friends. Well, if you liked this series, let us know down below. We will definitely continue doing things like this. Mm -hmm. Now it's my turn. Yeah. I get to show Jess something that I grew up falling in love <laughs> with, a scene. And yeah, we're going to get your reaction. So make sure you uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and check out the next video in this series. All right. We'll see you on the next one, friends. Bye, friends. Peace.